I went to refill the swimming pool this morning, and I noticed that there were a whole bunch of little holes in it. I wasn't sure exactly what it was from, if it was from a woodpecker or something, but there were a bunch of holes punched in it all over the place. It actually sits inside of another pool because the second pool had the same problem. I figured out what it was. It's actually a bunch of teeth marks from the raccoons trying to flip the pool over to get a little piece of cat food trapped underneath. I didn't want to go out and buy a new pool, so I used some Flex Seal and sprayed it on all the holes to see if it would work, which it did. Next, we can take a look at the little culprit that did this. As you see, he comes up and he smells a piece of food and he's trying to reach underneath the pool to get it. This pool's got about 30 gallons of water in it, so it weighs about 250 pounds, give or take. He decides he's going to go in and see if there's any food in the water and feel around a little bit. And there's nothing there, so he decides that he's going to take a bite out of the pool right there. We have nicknames for all the raccoons, and I'm assuming that this one is Tyler. There's a reason for that. Also, you can see he's biting a little bit more, and he's putting his shoulder in it, trying to flip this thing over just to get to this piece of food. He's actually working on it for a total of about a half an hour, and I've edited it, it down some so you don't have to sit here and watch this, but he's pushing and pushing and pushing, trying to get this piece of food out. It's interesting to watch his mind work because he's looking around for some sort of a tool or for some help or something, then just decides to put his shoulders into it and try to flip the pool over. Remember, this is a pretty heavy pool full of water. That also explains why half the water was missing in the morning. He keeps working at it and does a little bit more shoving, and that's not getting anywhere, so he goes back to biting and trying to lift the pool up with his mouth and flip it over. I typically have a camera set up outside in addition to the surveillance camera that I'm using now, but they're much more active when it's dark out and you can't really see anything with the other camera. So I'm just taking this as a screenshot off of the monitor. This goes on for quite a while with them trying to flip the pool over just to get the little bits of food out. What I decided to do was actually add a little shelf or like a second floor condo <laughs> and put some food on that, which uh, I will have tonight. This way they're able to feed at different levels. And um, as it is now, I put the food on different corners of the table so they don't fight. Usually the first thing they do when they get in the pool is they get a drink of water and sometimes they'll just sit in it a little bit to cool off because it's really been hot here. And then they will go and eat and disappear and then come back again in the middle of the night. But this guy here kept messing with the pool for at least a half an hour trying to get it moved so he can get that little bit of food. After trying to get this little piece of food that was under the pool for a half an hour or more, he finally gave up and ended up coming back later and trying again, but he had the same result. So I decided that I would put food in different locations so they wouldn't have any trapped underneath the pool. I don't even think there was anything under there. I think they just smelled food from the night before. Here's a shot of the new condominium second floor with food on it. I think they smelled the food, but they were going for whatever was easy to get to on the ground floor. And then once that was all gone, they took their time and climbed up to the top. They did play in the pool for quite some time. And surprisingly, the mother came out with the two babies. I haven't really seen them out when the light has been on. They usually stay out uh, in, for cover of darkness, I guess, for safety. But... The two babies were out here, and you can see uh, they're much smaller than the others. They're only, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half long. I don't know how old they are. There's probably someone that knows how to determine their age, but they're always playing, 
and a lot of times when the light is out in the middle of the night they will be playing in the pool for hours when I get a chance I do want to replace the outside security camera with one that has audio the cameras that are around the house have audio but this one that's out in the woods does not and a lot of times we can hear them making all sorts of noise communicating or fighting with each other. Well, that's it for now. 
If you have any comments or questions or ideas, leave them in the comments section. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Randomly Awkward One.